things. All right, I got the nuts off. So 12 and 12 down here. This one was a little bit hard. Um, I use a socket in here just to break it. And then I unscrewed it with a regular wrench. So now I'm just gonna push these bolts out and the back tire should fall down. Um, I'm gonna have to tie it up because it's gonna rip my shock protector over here. Whoops. All right, the top is out. Bottoms out. I lost it. I loosened the shock, by the way. Spring. <gasps> shock is out. All right. And this is my little setup here. Holding the rear tire. Here's the part that fell down. I guess it's supposed to hold the shock in. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So here is the old shock. This one says uh, 450 pounds. Here's a new one, much, much shorter. This kind of looks like a toy. And this shock is a 450 also. I keep saying shock, I'm sorry. It's the spring. Spring is a 450 pounds, but it's definitely thinner than the other shock. I'm not sure why. I just hope this part fits right here. If it does, we'll be in business. Mirzhnish. That and that. 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 Burner. RCP 2S. Same as this one. Okay. Let's put it in. Hopefully it fits. Seems like a little toy. is too short. So I do the top one first. Tighten up my contraption. Oh my goodness guys, I think this is going to work. I 
think it's going to work. Just this is just a little funky. It's a little funky here. Easily fixed. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to work. I'm so freaking happy. Okay. Let's tighten this up and see how it looks. Look at that geometry there. Hopefully it don't bottom out. It's a, it's a bit low. It's a close to the fender, um, and it's <laughs> it's ridiculously close to the ground, which I knew it was gonna be, but not that much. Uh, well, oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. Oh. On the bright side, you can uh, torque the nuts because you can reach now. With your ratchet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It's a bit too low. I uh, should have purchased a larger shock. I didn't think this through. So, anywho. So, anyways. This was supposed to be a surprise for my daughter and it definitely will be so what i did was i used my supermoto rims the 17 inch i got new uh new tires front and rear I'm running the shinkos in the back this was the 300 by 17 shinko and this one is the 70 117 what i was trying to do was just lower the bike so my daughter can reach a little bit better and have a easier time and now it's so low oh I didn't tell you the story of how I got the shock so I ordered it off of Amazon and I waited for it to come and it didn't come and the vendor the seller uh, emailed me saying that they don't send they don't ship to Hawaii because they're in China and so I had to find a uh, family in the mainland to send it to me to Hawaii um, but yes shout out to my family in the mainland thank you so much and anyways um, the bike is lowered too much <laughs> I purchased the smallest shock thinking that it's gonna be you know enough but if she was gonna work use this on the road be fine but we're gonna be going off-roading should be hitting everything so I know I can't return this because it's just there's just too much I do have an option of maybe cutting this spring but I don't think I should because she's eventually gonna get taller and I'm gonna need this again 
so I might have to just purchase another shock that's a little bit bigger actually I don't know I'm just talking to myself right now but anyways that's how you remove a shock without taking everything apart and it's sunny all right thanks for watching aloha and take care peace out have a great day Ay, ay, ay. There she goes. Huh? Where's she going? Yeah, you got it. Where are you going? There she goes. Put your feet on the pig. Put your feet on the pig. Put your feet on the pig. Good job, you got the feet on the pigs. <laughs>